Uh, G is from Southfield joining us. Hi, G. Hey, how you doing, guys? We're good. What's your comment? Um, me and my wife had a house built back in 2010. Things started happening around the house that we couldn't explain. Yep. Mm-mm. Things like what? The doors kept opening and closing. I said, man, and then there was flies. We had an issue with flies. Flies? Hundreds of flies. Hundreds? hundreds? That's what that's like from Amityville. Yeah. Or yes. thing, right? Mm-hmm. Flies are the worst thing ever. It, yeah. worst so we, so I, I did a little research. I said, well, what the hell? We moved, moved it to a, a brand new house. Yep. And it was house was built on, it was at 13 and, um, uh, it was at uh, Elizabeth Lake Road and Telegraph. Okay. The old, the old insane asylum there that, 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 that they tore down. They built a brand new subdivision right on top of this, uh, the, uh, the insane asylum. Yep. You can't do that. No. And then in the evening, when you go sit down on that, on that deck, these these bugs, thousands of bugs, just swarm the deck. About nope. 45 minutes. I said, you know what? We get in a lot of it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you yeah. moved. You, yes. you got out. He built it and then moved. <laughs> it, it, oh. was, it was crazy. Wow. And so you sold. You moved. Yeah, yeah. We had we, we got out of there, man. We got, it, was, it was too oh, much. look at this got, place. Oh, my God, look dude. Have you ever place. Googled it? It looks Ooh. straight out of a horror movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, it was crazy, man. I said, look, they built a subdivision on top of that. No, no, no. You can't do that. <laughs> no, How many people that? How many people were put down in oh, the basement of this hundreds place? Hundreds of oh, thousands. Yeah. Oh, oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Man, that place was. Well, I wonder when they knocked it down. It just sucks to try to be living your life, and then all of a sudden a bunch of flies Fli- come. Like hundreds of flies? <laughs> I, get, like, <laughs> I get a few flies in the house, and I flip. I we have one fly. Like, exactly. Ah. One. It oh, just takes man. one. Who summoned the candy man? <laughs> That's how we game, right? <laughs> and a bunch so. of flies. Wow. Uh, Jay's yeah. in Florida. Hi, Jay. Good morning. Hey, good morning, man. I got a haunted house story for you. So this happened back like in 1978. Um, I lived in Fort Lauderdale, and there was this bar in Fort Lauderdale called uh, the Banana Boat. And this girl worked there. Her name was Bonnie, and she used to ride her bicycle along the New River to go to, uh, to work. One evening, they found her bike and her purse, but they never found Bonnie. Where's so Bonnie? about six, mo- six no months wonder. later... Um, I'm working for a friend of mine, and we're building a custom home for him, and this guy shows up on a job site with this other dude, and they introduce themselves, and it turned out to be Bonnie's brother, and he had hired this, like, world-renowned psychic to help him find Bonnie, and he insisted that Bonnie was buried under the foundation of this house. So a couple years later, um, we're hanging out at his house, and we heard this noise in the, uh, the studio upstairs while we're sitting downstairs, and I said, hey, that must be Bonnie. And his wife said, well, who's Bonnie? And I said, well, didn't Bob tell you about the psychic coming here and uh, the ghost, you know, that the, the house is haunted? So um, his wife started freaking out, right? So I never knew this. Bob never told me. But there was all this stuff that was going on inside the house. Oh, yeah. You know, like the lights would go on. They'd wake up in the middle of the night, and, and the TV would be on. Lights would be on and stuff. It was so bad that they put the house on the market, like, within a couple of days. In a couple of days. You don't want the Bonnie yeah. ghost. No. Yeah, well, listen, she made me a cocktail out, yeah. or something. Two days later, Bonnie. it's on the market. That's uh, crazy. <sighs> then it's really haunted. If you make a, a decision that fast. You gotta go. Yeah, Bonnie. Bonnie, the bike riding bartender. No. <laughs> <laughs> the bike riding bartender. <laughs> haunting your listen, house that forever. Sounds, that it's sounds crazy. exactly <laughs> like how someone haunts somebody. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Exactly. You want another round? Oh! <laughs> You Bonnie. Want another drink. <laughs> Last call for alcohol. <laughs> you Last the cocktail call shaker. for alcohol. <laughs> There's the name of the movie. Last call. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be haunted by Bonnie, the bike riding bartender. No. No. Sam's with us from Boston. Good morning, Sam. How are you? How's she going? Oh, eh? how's she going? Eh? Oh, how's she going? <laughs> eh? <laughs> hey, so I used to, my girlfriend used to live at the Danvers State Mental Institution. Um, me and a buddy were hanging out there and we walked down to the graveyard there because we're like, we got to check this thing out. And we come around the corner and there was two dudes uh, banging. And, uh, oh, <laughs> and, uh, is that ghosts? They're insane. 
the graveyard ghouls. Absolutely terrifying. We both ran out of there and have never been back. Then. Absolutely Haunted. terrifying. Oh, Ooh, anal. Yeah. The slaps <laughs> and moans of the dead. <laughs> they were insane. <laughs> Men on men. <laughs> Insanity. <laughs> you probably, they would have tried to throw you in there back in the day. Oh, wow. Huh. Well, there you go. Yeah, you'll see all sites, I guess. Uh, Brandon's with us. Hey, Brandon, how are you? Good, so? Doing okay, man. You had a comment? Oh, uh, yeah. So, my house is haunted. Uh, I came home from a wedding. I have a pit bull. He's really lovable and dumb, but... All of a sudden, I come in. He's growling, like, very angrily. And I was like, man, what's going on? And then next thing you know, my speaker, like one of the Alexa speakers, kicks on and says, this place is a prison. Please let me out. Oh, that well, came out of your Alexa? No, just a speak. Yeah. Oh, was it your Alexa? Yeah, because me and my... Yeah, it came out. It was like, oh, yeah, 2, 3 in the morning. It yeah. said, this place is a prison. Please let me out <laughs> on your Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> yep, oh God, that's man. what it said. Yeah. Are you still there? Uh, yeah, have you seen this housing market? I know, yeah. dude, but your mm -hmm. Alexa's haunted and your places, <laughs> your dog's growling. You gotta go. <laughs> That's the stuff that really freaks yeah, me that... out is the when the when the animals see something. Because I feel like animals yeah. do they they know more than we do about that stuff. Yeah. What's me... going on even? But I think it's uh, all like dimensional. I'm real weird. That's what I think too. Someone oh, said the God. guy with the haunted Alexa wasn't a ghost, just the voice of an Amazon warehouse employee. This place is a prison, dude. Please yeah. let me out. I can't. We That's barely get time to was. pee. Yeah. Please, Back to man. Work. <laughs> and the dog was just barking at Alexa because exactly. it's weird. Yeah, right. This what is thing that? is, is talking. It? Yeah, this thing keeps talking. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Jeffrey Bezos got me trapped. <laughs> I've been on shit for 17 hours. Jeffrey Bezos, that's right. Dogs barking. <laughs> He'd bark too.